some of you probably know uh, what I do. I do story work. I've done story work for a number of years in the industry. I've done work for Warner Brothers, and I've done work for um, other feature companies like DreamWorks. And um, my job okay, up is the story supervisor. I am in partnership with Pete Docker, who is the storyteller that we follow into the breach to tell the story of Carl Fredericks. And um, it, this guy. <laughs> there he is, working very hard. But most of the time, he's really a lot of fun. <laughs> and if you notice the way his demeanor is, you can almost think that he could be a very giant, friendly bird. <laughs> and uh, what about to show you, actually, it's kind of like our family album of making this movie. So um, it's, it's not enough to follow any kind of path other than I'm about to share with you uh, the, the backstory of how we made it. Most of the times you see us in rooms huddled over things that we want to make and talking about them over again, which is also fun. And the people you see here, like, that's Ricky Nero over there, Daniel Lopez, you know, the doctor. And um, Bob Peterson is the writer and co-director of the movie. He is also a voice in the movie, he is the voice of Doug, a dog with this man. He's also the voice of one other dog that you will meet in the movie, who has a very funny voice. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Uh, uh, we uh, we uh, did a lot of research in the movie. Uh, we have giant airships that we visited in Longman Field. This is only the hangar, the most uh, dirigible hangar that we visited that airplane. Notice on the scale. So it, uh, there is pretty much you eat Lou Romano and Nat Lockwood. Wow. That's just mm. the doors. We have envisioned trying to enter the lair of our, our, our village. And this is kind of a dramatic scale to examine. Greg, Greg Dykstra sculpted our character Kevin. And uh, there are a lot of things that I actually think about when you're designing characters. Beyond just the personality, of it, you have to kind of find out how they're going to behave. So there's a lot of meetings that we go through. There's Jonas Rivera standing right next to Pete Doctor. We're uh, trying to uh, examine the way to make the movie. Bob Peterson, he's an amazing guy. He's, he's a writer. He's a lot of the, uh, the humor and, and the cadence of the character of Doug is probably very much like Bob. So he's very lovable. And, uh, this is a song when we're trying to record, record the voices in the movie. Voices in the movie is uh, Carl Fredrickson's voice by uh, Ed Asner, you guys know. And uh, Jordan, the guy who's, a, who's actually a very natural little kid. Uh, Pete Doctor and Bob had wanted to cast a natural little boy for the role. Someone who's not quite trained in the process of being an actor. So we wanted to grab very natural reactions from them. And, and, and I think we succeeded to a large degree. The, the Russell was very endearing, and it feels like just a normal boy that you encounter just down the street. So here's a scene from them uh, doing recordings. It seems to be all nice and formal, but Pete's very, very animated when he's directing, so he can be really expressive. <laughs> the guy gets into his work, doesn't it? You kind of have to, in telling these stories, you kind of live your character's life. Like that, and to think like that. So it's it's really a lot of fun. And over to the side, you can see it's probably recognized world famous Tony Chile, who was our temp track voice for Carl Fredrickson back then. Bob doing his recording for a voice of, of two of our characters. And uh, here's more pictures in the art department. We actually examined <laughs> giant birds that actually exist. Here's an ostrich. There is us holding the feather there, kind of like, hmm. What do you do? What do you do? They put this little sleeve on the ostrich so that if uh, so that you don't start him, so he doesn't see, he won't go up and run. And they're very dangerous because they have very big strong muscles. They can drop kick you and And uh, so Pete Saw, you'll see over here, kind of resembles <laughs> Somebody in the movie. <laughs> 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 